Good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. Last night I was asked to judge a dunk contest at UAB and the basketball coach kept talking about family first, family first, referring to the basketball team. But it got me thinking about um, what a novel concept that is, family first. All of us are out here interacting with so many people on a day-to-day -day basis, fighting so many different battles and working towards so many different goals. And as we all know, you can pick your friends and you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friend's nose. Isn't that what they say? Um, you can't choose your family. Your family is your family. Um, and how many of us go throughout our day without even really checking in with our nucleus? Every planet, including this one that we're creating, needs has a nucleus. It needs a strong center um, in order to build. And the center of, of your planet is your family. And I was thinking about how many of us go throughout our day without even really checking in with our family. How many, how many of us see our mothers calling and ignore the call or make jokes about how we never listen to her crazy voicemails? Um, you know, siblings are an extension of your body. They're, they're limbs. Mine are. Um, and how many of us go through the day without even checking in, not even a text, nothing, to see how everybody's doing. And then you bring it in closer to your core family in your own home. People that go through the day without checking in with their spouse, without saying, I love you, or I appreciate you, or thank you for making coffee this morning so I could get the kids' bags packed, whatever it is. And then the kids, you know, we're all being pulled in so many different directions, making lunches, emptying backpacks, where's your sneakers? get your sneakers. Why don't you have your sneakers? It's like, you know, and, and we forget to say, did you sleep good? Did you dream? You know, how are you feeling this morning? Anything special going on at school today? You know, and then we, we put them in the car and most of us as moms are somewhat frantic by that point and just happy to be in the car with the music on. <laughs> And we miss, you know, maybe a 10 or 15 minute opportunity to really check in with our kids about how the week was or maybe what they want for dinner. Um, go over what's going to happen. Kids love schedule. They love routine. So going over what's going to happen for the weekend, letting them know what's coming, something to be excited about maybe. I don't know. But you cannot get out there every day and battle the world or conquer it depending on what your mission is, without a strong nucleus. It has to be family first. And I feel like myself included, for sure, so many of us are moving so quickly throughout our day that we miss that. So my thought was on this Friday, before the weekend, take a minute to check in with the people that are holding your planet together, your mother, your father, your siblings maybe, um, your husband or wife, and certainly your children, especially your husband or wife, because the truth is that relationship is really the foundation for what's going on in your home. So allowing that relationship to fracture is the gravest mistake we could make, especially for our kids, because, you know, they, they're looking at us, you know, we, we become fight right fighters. Like I'm right. You're right. I'm right. I'm right. And the kids are like, Oh, you gotta be right. I have to be right. No. So today everybody just check in, let everybody know that they're loved and appreciated. Say, I see you mom. I know I don't always give you the time that you need, but I see you and I love you. Call your sisters, call your brother, check in with your spouse, maybe send them a text and say, Sorry, I didn't even get a minute to speak to you this morning, but I love you. Um, and same thing with your kids. When you pick them up from school, listen to them. Turn the radio down. Don't get on the phone. How was your day? Anyone have anything special they want to talk about? Um, because I think that in order to keep this planet strong, we need the nucleus stronger. Have a wonderful Friday. Um, I'm going to try to put do something about this. Um, and then I'm going to go for a walk.
Have a great day. I love you.